Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at the Cars 2 Mac Hauler. Now before we get right into the review and unbox the review in the retrospective, let's get right to the unboxing. So here we have his diecast, which includes the Mac, Mac himself and the, the trailer and the Cars 3, Lightning Queen and his Cars 3 attire at the bottom left and the, the, the title saying Mac Hauler, which the name itself had been stuck with, with every variant of the Mac Hauler and the Mattel logo and the, the Red Desert background and the, the old Cars logo. And on the back we have the Cars 2 Mac Hauler and the Cars 1 Lightning McQueen die cast on on the ramp and the the cars log the old cars logo and the Mattel logo Mac Holler and other foreign language made in Vietnam and the red background at the very back so now without any further ado let's get right into the unboxing I'll be right back after this had been unboxed. So here we have the Cars 2 Mac Hauler all on open. Sorry if I took so long. Had to with the unboxing. And another problem was that I had a bit of difficult time trying to get the trailer unhitched from Mac. So anyhow, in Cars 2, Mac took on this paint job when the Piston Cup had been renamed after Doc Hudson after his death in 2009 and, and, his, and during his appearance in Cars 2 he brought home Lightning McQueen who had won his fourth Piston Cup in Doc's honor and while Lightning was happy to see that he made her again while towing Otis back into Radiator Springs for the tenth time. And also witnessed the two shaking tires. And during the ending part, he was gathered around where right next to Lizzie while Mater and Lightning were, were telling the whole townsfolk and vit tourists about their spy adventure in London and, and, prior, and to the point where Finn McMissile and Holly Shiftwell showed up. Now, during his now during his diecast releases, he this Cars 2 Mac Collar was released I think maybe twice or a few times back in the early 2010s and got a re-release this year for 2023. Although I could be wrong about the early 2010s though. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. So anyhow. Without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. First, we're going to start off with Mac separating him from the trailer. So, here we've got his happy expression, his headlights, bright red paint job in, in grill, and his name Mac, which is slightly Mac, slightly copyrighted. No tampos on the hood, and his big red baseball hat with the Rusty's lo old Rusty's logo, which is slightly shaded, and with the light red lightning bolts, and a bit of lights on the top, and the side view mirrors, and on both sides we've got the 
five on the on a yellow lightning bolt threaded and his name name Mac in white on both sides and the and the step and the gray rims on these black wall tires and the and the and the truck pipes and the trailer hitch and on the back we've got the old Rusty's logo shaded on each of his mud flaps and the license plate saying Rusty's 3 and on the undercarriage we have Mac which is copyrighted Disney slash Pixar made in Vietnam and now for the trailer so on both sides we've got 95 on a yellow lightning bolt threaded the name Lightning McQueen and the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo and Lightning McQueen, him, Lightning McQueen himself, the Rusty's logo, a bit lightly shaded, and the red background, and Rusty's logo, proud sponsor of Team Lightning McQueen. Follow me to Radiator Springs, meaning that he wants everyone to follow him to Radiator Springs, so Radiator Springs would get more customers and several contingency sponsors saying RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Nitrate, Mood Springs, Gaskets, No Stall, Easy Idle, Vitaling, Octane Gain, Retread, Leakless, Revolting, Shifty Drug, Toe Cap, Transbury Juice, Shiny Wax, Tank Conan, Gasprin. And on the top, we've got the Rusty's logo saying Rusty's Bumper Ointment. And on the back, we've got the trailer door which uh, which has Lightning McQueen, Rusty's logo, Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo, 95 on a yellow lightning bolt threaded through, and Lightning McQueen, and the license plate saying Rusty's 4. Oh and I also forgot to mention there are the the gray rims on the black wall tires at the very back, and the and the trailer hitch right there, and underneath we have Mac which is copyrighted Disney slash Pixar, Mattel, made in Vietnam. And the trailer door itself comes out from the back, as usual, and the trailer door goes down, and the trailer stand, which it works, as, like the other Mac callers. So, so let's put in Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen. In goes Lightning McQueen. All right, off to the races. And it works like a charm like the other usual back haulers. And and that is it. Now let's fall into the other Mac callers. We've got the Cars 1 Mac caller, which goes with Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, and the Cars 3 Mac caller, which it comes, and it also com and it comes with the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Mac hauler is our favorite? Is it Cars 1, Cars 2, or Cars 3? Although I'm not sure, although there was a Rusty's Racing Center Mac hauler or a Rusty's Mac hauler from the beginning of Cars 3, although, and I'm not sure if Mattel will ever release those two. But other than that, which, again, which Mac caller is your favorite? Cars 1, Cars 2, or Cars 3? And which car do you wish for me to review tomorrow? Should it be Royce Revsley? Patty or Taco, or both? 
or the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which card to review next in the comments or on the voting poll. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!